In this video, we'll show you how to change the hydraulic and hydrostatic fluid, filters, and breather cap on your Toolcat Utility Work Machine. Keep in mind, to properly maintain your Toolcat, it's recommended to check and replace the hydraulic fluid, filters, and breather cap according to the maintenance schedule documented in your machine's operation and maintenance manual. To begin, park the machine on a level surface, lower the lift arm, and put the attachment flat on the ground, or tilt the Bobtatch attachment mounting system fully back. Then, if your machine has one, raise the cargo box and install the cargo box support. See your machine's operation and maintenance manual for the correct procedure. Now, stop the engine and allow it to cool. If you have a 5610 or UW53 model tool cat, you will need to raise a rear cover after the engine has been stopped. You will also need to carefully lift the cooling package into the service position to access the case drain filter. It is recommended to use two people for this procedure. It's important to note that some components may need to be removed before raising the cooling package on some models. If your machine has a coolant hose mounted in the upper right hand corner of the cooling package, loosen the hose and clamp and disconnect the hose from the fitting. Then install a plug in the end of the coolant hose and wedge the hose between the reservoir and cab to keep it in the upright position. Now on all 5610 or UW53 models, loosen the hinge bolt on both sides. Then remove the two mounting bolts from the support on both sides. Two people should lift the cooling package. While holding the cooling package in place, install a mounting bolt on each side to secure the cooling package in the service position. Now on all tool cap models, when replacing the hydraulic filter located near the left side rear wheel, first, Place an oil pan on the ground under the hydraulic filter to capture any excess fluid that might seep out. Then loosen the reservoir breather cap to relieve hydraulic system pressure. Now using an oil filter wrench, loosen the filter until it can be removed by hand. Once the filter has been removed, thoroughly wipe and clean the filter housing of any excess oil and debris with a lint-free rag. To remove the case drain filter located near the right side rear wheel, place an absorbent mat under the case drain filter to capture any excess fluid that might seep out. Then using an oil filter wrench, loosen the filter until it can be removed by hand. Once the filter has been removed, thoroughly wipe and clean the filter housing of any excess oil and debris with a lint-free rag. To install a new filter, first apply a thin layer of clean oil on the filter seal. Then install the filter on the filter housing and hand tighten until the gasket contacts the surface. Then tighten an additional 3 fourths of a turn. To install a new case drain filter, first apply a thin layer of clean oil on the filter seal. Then install the filter on the filter housing and hand tighten until the gasket contacts the surface. Then tighten an additional 3 fourths of a turn. On the 5610 and UW53 Toolcat models, once the filters have been replaced, carefully lower the cooling package into the operational position. Now thoroughly clean around the breather cap with a lint-free rag, eliminating any excess debris. Then install a new breather cap on the hydraulic reservoir. Now every second filter change, or 1,000 hours, replace the hydraulic fluid. To do this, first remove the breather cap. 
Then remove the reservoir fill screen and inspect the screen carefully for damage and any debris buildup. After inspection, carefully dry the screen with low air pressure. Now to remove the hydraulic fluid from the reservoir, you will need a fluid pump or siphon as well as an appropriately sized container to capture the fluid. Place the container near the hydraulic reservoir. Then install one end of the fluid pump hose or siphon in the container and the other end in the reservoir fill tube. Remove fluid from the hydraulic reservoir until fluid stops flowing through the hose. Then remove the hose and dispose of the used fluid in an environmentally safe manner and according to local regulations. Next, install the screen back inside the reservoir fill tube before filling the tank. Now, fill the hydraulic reservoir with new hydraulic fluid to the proper level. Watch the sight gauge on the side of the reservoir. When the fluid level is in the center of the sight gauge, the fluid level is correct. Then install a new breather cap on the reservoir. Now to complete the process, start the engine and operate the hydraulic controls to cycle fluid throughout the system. This will assist with venting any excess air in the hydraulic system and improving hydraulic performance. Then stop the engine. Now check for leaks at the filters. And check the fluid level in the sight gauge to make sure the level is still within spec. If not, add fluid as needed. Remove the cargo box support and lower the cargo box. Or on the UW5310 models, lower the rear cover and ensure it's securely latched. 